real world testing. What do we do with the results? Okay, I think it's best to review the results right away. The longer you keep it out, the more types of fades and gets colored by the type of thing. So that's why we're talking about three participants in the morning. Makes it about approximately three hours plus setup time. That's good, three, three and a half, four hours in the morning. In the afternoon, you can do your debriefing, okay? So I suggest reviewing the results right away. You want to sort of triage the information. You want to find a fixer approach that you're going to do. And this is sort of the most important one. So in that curve that we're in the building phase now, we say you want to do the least you can do to fix the problem. It might sound kind of counterintuitive, especially if we have any alpha type, uh, A type personalities here that you want to perfection. But they, what did they say? They say uh, perfection is the enemy of good, right? So Voltaire said that, I think. The idea is here, unfortunately, you're in sort of a phase where that's not sort of the priority. What you want to do is you want to do, the technical term is called a tweak. Okay, and there are seven very good reasons to do tweaks versus a rebuild or a redesign or something like that. One, tweaks are generally uh, cheap and cost effective, right? Second, they're less work and less resource intensive, especially if we have a small company or if, if you're a startup or you're near end of project deadline, it's a zero sum game. There's only so many resources to go around. Third one is they're less stressful. It's the point where, say, somebody says once, Tweaks don't break up marriages, <laughs> increase psychiatry bills. <laughs> like that idea is like, tweaks are, are they're just generally overall less stressful. And usually at that part of the project, especially when we're near the end of when we say we're going to ship something and stuff like that, there's already enough stress to go around. Let's not add a process that adds more stress because generally that may be channeled through that. Okay, well that that usability testing the pro every time you fix something it might be huge. But you add so much stress to our project, we're just not going to do it anymore, right? Tweaks are implemented generally quicker. That's the whole idea of a tweak. So generally, it'll be done faster. It means it's more likely to be done because it's small and it can easily schedule. You don't have it. It's much easier to sell a small type of tweak than it is to actually implement it into the schedule of a, a, a long, massive rehaul or redesign. The last one is like, I think this is one that people sort of underestimate too, is that that. Sometimes you know what the problem is, but you don't know what the solution is. So sometimes offering a tweak is a little cheaper because you don't know what that perfect fix was. right? You're making an assumption that you know what to do. So the tweak is usually very well defined because it's small. We know what to do. So even if you had the desire to do that perfect fix, you might have to implement something to figure out what the perfect fix is. So you don't know what it is. So it's not really an option. I mean, you could spend time investigating it, but it's how should you say, is non-deterministic at that point because you don't know what the impact was. This is Wayne's issue triage uh, flowchart. First one, if we have something that really, really pops up afterwards design, I, I would definitely, my, my first uh, question would be like, is it part of the minimal bio product? Can we dump it? That is by far the easiest tweak is to remove something. <laughs> that is the, usually the cheapest, safest, least amount of effect on the other parts of the system is just simply to remove the feature. Sometimes it's better to ship with you know, more stable, less features than it is shipped with more unstable features. It's one that sort of gets overlooked a lot, but omitting something is definitely a tweak. Is there a small tweak we can do? So the idea is like, is there something that jumps out of your mind and say, hey, you know, uh, one case we had two screens that looked very similar to it, just had very different UIs for a mobile application. And I was talking to Steve, and what we did, we came up with, a, just change the background color on one of them. So two ones had both white backgrounds, and icons started to look the same, and then we're worried that people would have a different mental model. Steve was awesome. He came up with this. Why don't you just change the background? And just that one little change has very little risk. It's so very simple. It changed the mental. Once we ran it again, people totally different response. That's the type of an example when I want to try to use tweaks of, at this stage. That's what you're kind of looking for, OK? Small tweak. So mm -hmm. Steve has a very similar diagram to this, but the next one in his book, but the next one says, you know, did we, after you do this small tweak, go back and say, did we break anything important? Because if you didn't, if you broke something, chances are you're going to test that again and that's again. You might as well just revert the tweak. Okay, it's much easier than to go down that rat hole. Okay, so the first thing you after after you did the tweak, say, hey, did you break anything? If you didn't, and you might want to do one in sort of here, Steve suggesting the small tweak. Was it enough? Was it is is it not the right tweak or was it not enough? So those are two choices. Like for example, if you make the background red. Oh, sorry, like a light blue, and, and you say that tweak was good, but not good enough, then you make it red or something like that. So you can amplify. You're in the right direction, but you just need to go a little further. 
or the obvious one is, you know, yes, it's not totally, the tweak is not working, just remove it, and maybe we'll just have to accept that that's the way that we'll go if we have to ship at a certain particular date. Is it a new feature? So sometimes when we have usability testing, it comes, it disguises itself very well. So when it comes down, it's like, you look at it and say, oh, it's actually a, 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 an issue, not necessarily but an issue with a particular feature, and they're gonna say, oh, it's a problem. But really, it's masking itself as a new feature, right? Because the user wants something. It's not that something is broken. The user wants something else. My answer is I never add it. Do not add anything, <laughs> OK? OK, because what we're talking about before when we started about this usability testing, we did that Recruit Lucy part. So generally, probably, you don't have world-class world designers in your usability testing. So when they design something on a napkin or request a type of feature, it may look great to you at that one time, but that might not be the profession or their expertise level. And, and when you actually do it, it, it may not work out well at all. Things designed on a napkin in the isolation of an interview is sometimes very risky type of stuff. You guys know I love quotes, so I'll give you a couple more here. Perfection is the enemy of good, Voltaire. And that we've already talked about the patent one. They say, a good plan executed today is better than a perfect plan executed tomorrow. That's what we're talking about the tweaks. Hey, you know, is that the good plan that's better to be executed today than you know, the perfect one tomorrow? Lastly, we're seeing this in the market quite often. We're changing. You know, people want it to be basically build the best of everything. Like That's how you sell your, your product. Poge, principle of good enough. Uh, that, that we have a lot of that saying around floating around the industry. Uh, you know, a lot of times we're kind of crippled sometimes trying to s make the perfect type of thing. Sometimes good enough is, seems to be one thing that we're just bubbling up in the industry right now. I'm going to try to do some user testing live. Okay, so if we can have a handsome or lovely volunteer that would come up.